We're making community connections in downtown Tempe today, taking in the views from the Westin's SkySail rooftop lounge, which soars 18 stories above the city. The Westin is located near South Mill Avenue and East University Drive, and that is where 12 News journalist William Pitts is now. He joins us live with more on what they have to offer. Hey, William. Yeah, who knew you had to go 18 stories up to find a ski chalet in Tempe? But I mean, look at this. I got the jacket on and everything. We're ready for ski season. Even though we are in Tempe and it's still 75 degrees outside, which means I'm probably taking this jacket off in a minute. But we're going to come over here and talk to my favorite part of the entire lounge over here, Nicole at the bar. Tell me what we're making. What, what do we have laid out here? All right, so here we have our lineup of Christmas styled cocktails for the chalet. Currently, right now, we're going to stirring a nutty. Um, Italian to take on a Negroni, but we've subbed out some Frangelico for the gin for it. The goal with this entire um, concept was to make sure that we were doing really classic traditional cocktails with a fun twist. So, I mean, they all look like fun twists. I mean, we've got some crushed up candy cane. We do. That's our uh, polar espresso martini. Very popular, I imagine. Uh, you know, you would think. <laughs> One of our most popular, as a matter of fact. Um, over here we have our mistletoe margarita, which is um, a take on a classic margarita with some cranberry as well as some Luxardo uh, maraschino cherry liqueur. And I'm going to get to shake something real quick, oh, yeah, right? Okay, right let's here. shake this one real quick. Oh, oh thank you, because I can't do that. I'm going to trade you here because you got to you got to shake and you got to smile <laughs> to be able to do that. How long you shake? Just a little bit. That's Feels enough. Good. All right, let's do Feels that. Good? That's getting cold. So All there right. we go. Okay, we pour that and then we garnish. Yeah. So this and one, we're good to go. That one looks really good it's too. It's a pumpkin spiced eggnog that we make in house with some whistle pig, uh, bourbon, and some amaretto. And then you're also going to get to light something on fire right now. Uh, I want to light something on fire. I absolutely want to light something on fire. Okay. All right. Let's see. We'll make this really quick because we got our little. Oh yes. And then I get to. Prime this thing, and then, oh, thank Hit you. Hit the trigger we go. and go. Oh, there we go. There get, go. That's the best way to toast a marshmallow, really. <laughs> Except for, you know, it's on fire. There, wait. There we go. We've got to blow it <laughs> a little bit. All right, so we've also got food over here, Tram. Which we're going to get to the food here in just a little bit. We've got all kinds of stuff. And uh, Chef Mario here, really quickly, because we had to go back to them. What is the most popular thing on our menu here? Um, that's got to be a lobster mac and cheese. Because you have an entire lobster on the mac and cheese, it looks like. Yeah, pretty much. Um, then you get the festive uh, colors with the green and then the red from the lobster, really. And then sugar, the way to my heart, tram, also. And, you know, coming up over the next half hour, we're going to tell you how you can get uh, tickets to get up here, how you can get reservations, and a little bit more about this entire space, because this is really cool and really in-depth, and I like all of this. I'm going to start eating these things right now. Yeah, I